promotions, promotions, promotions. That's what we care about, right? And not so much. We want to worry about the responsibility, the maturity, the scope of authority, and the scope of responsibility that comes along with those promotions. So, how are we, Mount Julia High School Marine Corps Junior ROTC? This is the second of your two periods of instruction covering rank structure. In your previous period of instruction, we talked about the Marine Corps rank structure. Specifically, we spoke about the enlisted Marine rank structure, the officer rank structure, and the warrant officer rank structure. In this period of instruction, we're going to tie in the Marine Corps rank structure to our ROTC program, and you're going to have a good understanding of how the ROTC rank structure mirrors, as best as possible, the Marine Corps rank structure. So let's dive right in to your ROTC Cadet Corps rank structure and how you have the ability to get promoted, how you have the ability to grow and be more responsible, not just for yourself, but for other cadets. We're going to talk a little bit as well about the billets and the associated responsibilities with the cadet ranks and grades. This lesson is going to introduce you to the Marine Corps JROTC rank structure, including information on the officer ranks, the enlisted ranks, the grades associated with those ranks, and the insignia or the identifier, the chevrons, the brass, if you will, that you're going to wear on your uniforms to identify what a person's rank is and their grade. By the end of this period of instruction, you are going to be required to quickly and easily identify Marine Corps JROTC officer ranks insignia. You, by sight, have to identify the enlisted rank, grade, and insignia of JROTC cadets. You will have to be able to differentiate between officer and enlisted cadet ranks. You're going to be responsible for identifying JROTC officer enlisted rank structures in the sequence from lowest to highest, highest to lowest. You're going to be evaluated in a written test. You're going to be evaluated by flashcards. You're going to be evaluated during uh, knowledge knockout in the classroom. And most importantly, on a daily basis, when you are working with, coordinating with, or following or leading your other cadets. The Marine Corps JROTC program is firmly rooted in our history and traditions of the actual Marine Corps. Our leadership, our fellowship, our citizenship, our customs, our courtesies. And our rank structure is no different. Our rank structure within the ROTC program is structured and modeled after the Marine Corps rank structure. However, there are some significant differences, mainly some easily identifiers that would, at the naked eye, be able to identify you as a cadet opposed to an actual Marine. We don't want anyone to mistake a cadet for a Marine. So in order to prevent that from happening, there are some significant differences between the rank structure and the insignia, I should say, between the Marine Corps rank structure and the enlisted cadet corps, the Marine Corps officer rank structure and the Marine Corps JRDC officer rank structure. But the, a lot of the names, a lot of the nomenclatures are very similar. So if you were able to memorize the rank structure of the Marine Corps, then the enlisted and officer rank structure for ROTC will be very easy. The enlisted and officer promotions are at the discretion of the senior Marine instructor and the Marine instructor. Now, here within our program, our promotions work on a nine-week um, report card period. So, within the first nine weeks, you are being evaluated on your potential for leadership. At the end of that first nine-week period, our program here in Mount Julia High School will promote all of our LE1s that meet all the criteria and any billet holders that are not currently of the rank that their billet requires. So, for example, if I've got a company commander who was maybe a company first sergeant last year, I'm not going to promote them from first sergeant to captain this year. They're going to promote to lieutenant, and then they will earn their rank of captain throughout the school year that they're in that billet. So any of our LE1s that are deserving of promotion will get promoted in that first nine-week period. And then any billet holders that need to be promoted to the billet that they are assigned. The second nine weeks are for meritorious promotions and any additional billet holders. Our third nine weeks 
is all hands. That's after the fall break. So you, uh, LE twos, threes, and fours, who are eligible for promotion will be promoted at that third nine-week period. And then any um, last minute or maybe any additional meritorious promotions towards the end of the school year will be conducted right before the school year, provided you're coming back to the program. Now, here's one thing I do want to note. Any cadet who is assigned to a billet that's an officer billet, they must have already served as a staff non-commissioned officer before they can serve in that officer billet. Any time throughout the school year, we are allowed to meritoriously promote anyone, and it happens very often. If there is a cadet who is just out of the blue recognized by the school, or if there is a cadet that the major and I recognize as going above and beyond the call of duty on a daily basis, then on the spot, however and whenever we see fit, we are able to conduct meritorious promotions. Marines and cadets will wear the same uniform. However, the design of the ROTC rank insignia, like I mentioned earlier, will distinguish you from an actual Marine. The last thing we want is for you to go out in town and be at some public event in uniform and be mistaken for a Marine, especially if you are wearing your uniform incorrectly or if you're doing something wrong. because you don't know what you don't know. And if I see you from afar and I'm a retired sergeant major, has no idea what's going on in any ROTC program, but I see a Marine uniform and there's someone wearing it, misbehaving or wearing it incorrectly, I'm going to click off safe. I'm going to come across that field and find you and it's going to be a bad day for you. That, that, we don't want that to happen to our cadets. So one of the ways that we prevent that from happening is, number one, you guys don't get to wear your uniforms out in town. That's just a no-no unless you're at one of our events. The other one is that you don't wear the word, the name Marines on your name tag on your Tammies. There's no last name. And instead of it saying U.S. Marines, it just says MCJROTC. The third way we prevent that from happening is changing the design slightly of your enlisted rank insignia, your officer rank insignia from that of an actual Marine. If you remember from your enlisted rank structure, Marine Corps rank structure class, you'll remember that the majority of our enlisted Chevron, our insignia, have cross rifles identifying the fact that we are all basic riflemen. In an ROTC rank structure, the rifles are replaced by the lamp of learning. The lamp of learning is used in the enlisted cadet rank only, not the officer, and it, sign it signifies the intensive study, and as a source of intellect, meaning you guys are working your behinds off to learn all of the things that you need to know within our program to be a better human being today than you were yesterday. It also signifies moral and spiritual illumination, meaning we are within this program trying our best to help you build a moral compass to do what's right just because it's right, not because you're going to get rewarded for it and not because you're going to get punished for not doing it. So those are a couple of things that are represented by the lamp of learning. So now that we've gone over some differences as it relates to the rank insignia between Marines and cadets, let's dive deep into the cadet enlisted ranks. What we're going to do is we're going to start reciting our knowledge the exact same way we did in our previous class for our enlisted rank structure. So here we go. Sir, E1 in the ROTC is Cadet Private. E wears no rank insignia. Sir, E2 in the ROTC is Cadet Private First Class. E wears the Lamp of Learning. Now, take a look at this picture. It's cut and pasted from your textbook. Don't worry about the outline of the chevron. A Cadet Private First Class only wears the Lamp of Learning. Sir, E3 in the ROTC is Cadet Lance Corporal. He wears one stripe up, lamp of learning in the middle. Now we're going to move into our non-commissioned officer ranks. Sir, E4 in the ROTC is Cadet Corporal. He wears two stripes up, lamp of learning in the middle. Sir, E5 in the ROTC is Cadet Sergeant. He wears three stripes up, lamp of learning in the middle. Now that we move on to our staff non-commissioned officer ranks, the easiest way that I like to 
use to memorize my staff and CO ranks as it relates to the differences between the NCOs and staff NCOs is that it starts with the word staff. Staff non-commissioned officer, staff sergeant. So E6 in the ROTC is cadet staff sergeant. He wears three stripes up, one stripe down, lamp of learning in the middle. Sir, E7 in the ROTC is cadet gunnery sergeant. He wears three stripes up, two stripes down, lamp of learning in the middle. Now, within our cadet corps, we usually only have one gunnery sergeant in our program, and typically that rests with the billet of cadet company gunnery sergeant. Now, here's a significant difference between the cadet enlisted ranks and the Marine Corps enlisted ranks. The cadet enlisted ranks do not have a master sergeant, and they do not have a master gunnery sergeant. We start our senior enlisted, senior staff enlisted ranks at cadet first sergeant, and we only go up to sergeant major. So here we go. Sir, E8 in the ROTC is cadet first sergeant. He wears three stripes up, three stripes down, lamp of learning in the middle. And then last but not least, sir, E9 in the ROTC is cadet sergeant major. He wears three stripes up. Four stripes down, lamp of learning in the middle. Now, we are on a company model, so we will not promote to the rank of sergeant major unless it is a meritorious promotion for a cadet in a ceremonial status, probably late in their senior year, right before they graduate. But again, that's going to be on a rare occasion. Our highest enlisted billet is cadet first sergeant, and that is reserved for the cadet company first sergeant. So there's your cadet enlisted rank structure. Now we're going to move on to our cadet officer rank structure. But this time, instead of me running my mouth, I have a little help from my friends. I got a couple of cadets in here, and they're going to instruct you on cadet officer rank structure. Sir, 01 in the ROTC is cadet second lieutenant. He wears one silver disc. Sir, O2 in the ROTC is Cadet First Lieutenant. He wears two silver discs. Sir, O3 in the ROTC is Cadet Captain. He wears three silver discs. Sir, O4 in the ROTC is Cadet Major. He wears one silver diamond. Sir, O5 in the ROTC is Cadet Lieutenant Colonel. He wears two silver diamonds. Sir, O6 in the ROTC is Cadet Colonel. He wears three silver diamonds. So specifically to Mount Juliet High School Marine Corps JROTC, we will only promote our cadets up on the officer rank from second lieutenant to first lieutenant and then from first lieutenant to captain. Our company commander, because we're on a company model, is a captain. In the Marine Corps, a company commander would be a captain. We are no longer on a battalion model. Our 100 plus cadets are modeled after 100 plus cadets that are in a normal Marine Corps company. The cadet captain in our ROTC program has pretty much the exact same job that a cadet colonel does in a program that's based in a battalion model. There are very few programs out there that have more than 200 cadets in there. There are, but they're rare. So we decided to keep our program modeled after a Marine Corps company model. But in order to become a second lieutenant, in order to be an officer in our program, you must first like we mentioned in the previous slide, have been promoted to a staff NCO rank, meaning I had to have been at least a cadet staff sergeant, cadet gunnery sergeant, or cadet first sergeant before I can make the jump to the officer ranks in the second lieutenant, first lieutenant, and captain ranks. There are programs out there that have a cadet major, a cadet lieutenant colonel, and a cadet colonel. We used to, we just don't anymore. Now, that doesn't excuse you from your responsibility of learning all of your officer ranks. 
So what I'd like you to do now is go back through these slides and try to memorize the rank structures, both enlisted and officer. The E1s, the enlisted through E9s, and then the officers, the O1s, all right, O2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, and O6s, all the way through your enlisted cadet ranks. And then take a look and see how similar or how different they are from your Marine Corps enlisted ranks. If you can memorize the Marine Corps ranks from the last class, then your cadet ranks are going to be so, so easy to remember. Now, normally what we would do is we would play a game called What's My Rank? You have this link in Thrivus. You should be able to get in there and click on the uh, presentation and go through the game. And what it is, it's just a electronic flashcard game. It'll help you memorize. Regardless, you need to memorize all of these rank, uh, rank structures and the insignia that go along with them, not just because you're going to be questioned in the middle of class or that we're going to do flashcards in class, mainly and most importantly, so that you understand the roles and responsibilities of those cadets placed in positions of authority over and around you, and you have a better understanding of what it is that they're responsible for and what it means to earn that rank. It's not just a couple of more stripes because I'm better than you. Absolutely not. There is a ton of responsibility and additional responsibility at the higher ranks of the cadet enlisted and officer corps. I hope you've gotten something out of this period of instruction. This one's a little bit shorter and I believe a little bit easier than the Marine Corps rank structure. And we'll see you in class. Simplify Dallas.